Hello everyone and welcome to Geeky and Tweaky. In today's video, I am sharing with you two utilities that I have compiled using auto hotkey scripts. These two utilities are good for those people who do not have a multimedia keyboard. If your keyboard doesn't have dedicated keys for volume control, mute or media playback, then you can use these two utilities. The first utility is called media control. So it has got started, it's in the system tray right now. And the controls that I've assigned are like this. So if I press Control, Alt and Space, that will play or pause the media. Control, Alt, Right key will change to the next track. Control, Alt, Left key will change to the previous track. Let us try this. So I have some uh, music tracks added on Groove Music. I'm pressing Control, Alt and Space now. So you can see here that the play pause feature works fine, pausing now. Alright, so play pause is fine. Let's change the next track, Control Alt Right Key. Previous track, Control Alt Left Key. Pause again. So these controls are working fine. Now if you want to change the volume, you can either use window key with the mouse wheel up and down or you can still use control alt and up and down arrow keys for that purpose so we'll try both of them so let's first try with control alt up and down arrows so control alt up arrow it's at maximum already so let's reduce it with down arrow so in steps of two you can see the volume is changing with up and down arrows now i'm going to do it with mouse wheel so holding down the windows key I am scrolling the mouse wheel upwards, it increases the volume and if I scroll the mouse wheel downwards, it decreases the volume. You can also use a window space bar to mute. It, so that's the master mute for your system, window space bar to mute or unmute. Alright, so that was the first script. I'll just remove this one for the moment. Now the second one is called microphone mute. So that's been started now. And the key that I've mapped for microphone mute is the tide key or the back tick key. If you're not sure which one is that, this is the key which is called as the tide or back tick key. Okay, so that's what I've mapped to microphone mute. So now that the utility is running, it will also give you a tool tip at the mouse pointer. I'm pressing the back tick key now. So when I press the back tick key, my microphone went on mute and you could not hear me for a couple of seconds, right? Now it is back. So using this as a shortcut, you can quickly toggle microphone mute. All right, now let us see how to compile these. So you can download AutoHotKey from AutoHotKey.com. Okay, that's the portal for this. You can go to the download link and download the current version, right? I have already downloaded it. Let's install that. All right, so installation is pretty quick and straightforward. Now we don't need to keep this window open. Just close this one. Okay. After you've done this, what you need to do is you can create a text file but change the extension to .ahk for auto hotkey. So let's say I'll make test.ahk. All right. And now all these AHK scripts, you can open them with auto hotkey. All right. Right click, edit script. And this is where you put your code. Let me copy it from my existing one. Add it from here. Copy it from here. And we'll paste it in the new script save all right you can either double click this one and it will load in the tray like this let me remove the old ones again and try again test.ahk that's running now and at this time if i press Control alt space we are back to playback controls right all right so it's working fine now you don't need to keep it in this format always. You can just right click and say compile script and then it makes an executable which you can run directly. So if you're running this executable, you don't need to have auto hotkey installed at that time. Executable is 
self-contained. You don't need AutoHotKey program to be installed for this to work. So that was how you compile the first one. Now the microphone control is a bit tricky because microphones are attached to different mixer numbers. So first thing that you need to do is to find out which mixer is your microphone connected to which you want to mute or unmute. For that go to the control panel, sound settings, go to recordings and choose the microphone for which you want to find out the mixer ID. I'm going to use this one. Go to properties of this one and go to levels. Now under levels change the value to something that you can recognize out of many settings. So let's say I'll put it to a particular value let's say 97 okay and click okay. Okay close this one. Now we need to execute this program. I'll give you a link of this one in the description. Either you can run it through the AHK script or you can run the compiled version of that. So what it is going to do, it is going to find out all the sound devices on your system and it will list their IDs and you saw that we have set the microphone volume to 97 in our case. So you just need to find out 97 somewhere here. You can see here there is 97. So that's the microphone mixer number 14 where my microphone is connected, right? So you just need to find out this number and then you can close this window. Now the microphone mute script I have given here this number you will need to update. So whichever is the mixer ID for your personal microphone, just replace this number 14 with that number. Okay. And then you can just run this script. And after that, the tide key will mute or unmute. Now, if you want to change this key, you can edit this script and just replace it over here. For example, if you want to mute with backslash key, let's say, so simply replace it with backslash and then pressing backslash, will start muting or unmuting your microphone, toggling your microphone. Once again, links to all these scripts as well as their compiled versions will be available on the Google Drive folder and I'll link that in the description of the video below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know how you are using these scripts or if there is anything wrong, let me know. I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel to watch more such geeky and tweaky videos in future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.